Right, Wiseau? Absolutely. We have got one of the most reviled human beings in the history of the United Wrestling Alliance in first class, Brian Brass, currently making his way toward the ring. This is the first of four triple threat matches. Winners going into the big Fatal Four Way elimination to determine this year's Crossroads Tournament winner. This tournament. Can you imagine a UWA with Joey Chaos in the illustrious winner's circle of that crossroads tournament? That is I'm trying to imagine a UWA without Joey Chaos. We're in a whole Joey Chaos, not exactly feeling at home. Well, Brass and Chaos here are gonna try to double team the beast again. Oh, this can't be good. Try to lock me in a double suplex here. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Slamming Kyle White down to the mat. Such velocity, 
accompanied by Brass and Chaos. This has turned into nothing more than a two-on-one mugging. Yeah, but there can only be one winner. Abs well, absolutely, and you know what? Guys like Chaos and Brass always turn out. Joey Chaos here. I was told UWA, UWA management has been cringing at the fact that Joey Chaos is in a, in a holy place like this. Absolutely, we are in, we are in a church here tonight, folks. Yeah, well, it's not burning. Oh, what a flashback. Well, the double team is working, but uh, for how long here? I mean, it's no, that's a really good point. You know, double teams work momentarily, but only one guy can win the match. Joey Chaos pounded away, trying to pound a knot in the head of Kyle Wynant. Brash is standing back, letting him fire away. Well, you know what? Brash is, Brash is a smart, smart man. Oh, he's a ringer. Brash has been in the violence of the tournament before. Oh, man! Spinebuster! Brian Brass, as I said, has been to the finals of the show before. Came in a fierce breath of winning it. But Brian Brass, above all, is smart. He's going to let Chaos and Kyle exhaust themselves before swooping in for the kill. Well, he's letting Chaos go. Chaos right right over Kyle Wine. Brian Brass going to involve himself now as he lifts Kyle Wine off the mat. Picking his spots. You gotta think this assault, this assault here is definitely lessening the chances of the beast to advance in this tournament. Once again, oh, Brian Brass! What a boot in the corner! Just put Kyle Wynant's lips in the second row! Well, you saw how this match started. Kyle Wynant came out of a house of fire. Fans are sitting in stunned silence there at the velocity of that kick by Brian Brass. What are they, what are they working on here? Oh no, oh no! Oh no, oh, no. Brian Brass! Kyle wanted to be a little too scripted. Oh, chaos with the elbow drop. Brian the Brat. Brian Brass. Oh, Brian Brass is bringing Brass Brass that knee down into the small of the, 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 the small of the back of Kyle Wine and Joey Chaos. Flying through the air with that. I'm just excited here. This is such a huge year. I've been waiting for this one for a long time. What are they working here? Oh, Brian Brass! Brass drop kick to Joey Chaos. The height of that drop kick is unreal for a man Brass' size. That's right. If you're not Paramount, you can't trust them. Well, absolutely. Brian Brass, Chris Redfield, Cypress, Mike wait, West. Wait, wait, wait. But Kyle wanted it! Go over the pit here! I thought Kyle was trying to get out of the Brass. Shoved him right down. Brass going over the cover. Right chaos now. Oh, no, no, no. There. Chaos. Put the leg on the rope. Had the wherewithal. Kyle wanted it! full package, too! Oh. I thought he had it there. No. That could have been Kyle Wynant's one chance. Oh, yeah, back up. Back up. Chaos is behind him! Oh. Kyle firing away oh, Joey it. Chaos! Taking control here is Kyle Wynant! Oh! oh. Bro, hanging him up on that top rope! Hanging oh. Joey Chaos on the drive! Oh. Kyle three minutes are down! Kyle Wynant is putting on a clinic here, folks! The old adage says, Sea Ray, when fighting angry blind men, best to just stay out of the way! That's right. That's exactly what Kyle's doing, allowing Brian Brass and Chaos to inadvertently strike each other. They did, and all three men are back up. Kyle, chopping away at Joey Chaos. Kyle, oh, big back elbow. Kyle running in, Joey Chaos, oh, nobody home. Chaos has set Kyle up. He's got those legs in the wrong. Oh, no, no. Long enough for it to be uncomfortable, folks. Church. Dial down, chaos, pandering to the fans there. Every week, I come in here and I tell you that I'm the man. And every week, I prove it by destroying first class rivalry. Unleash the beast. It's time to unleash the freak, baby. You're on the wrong side of the Well, chaos, letting his feelings be known, he probably should have been capitalizing on the momentary advantage. But we'll give him this one, folks. Maybe he knows what he's doing here. Joey Chaos gonna focus here about the unleash the freak. What is that? Yup. Kyle Wyatt throwing him in the corner, though. He's about to unleash the beast. There he goes. There by first class Brian Brass. Kyle down, chaos down. Yakuza is Japanese. 
Is brass Japanese? No. No. Okay. It's Irish. Uh, it rubs your black uh, holes! Uh, it covers it! It's over! Wait a minute! Kyle, no, 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 no. Brian Brass, the ring general, in complete control of this match here as he backs Kyle Wyden in. Let up, Kyle Wyden! Dennis! Dennis! Beast! 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 Beast!
opportunity to win this tournament with Brian Brass, but Mike Quest, a former Crossroads winner, may just do it here tonight. There has been only one two-time winner of the Crossroads Championship. You know who that is, don't you, see legs Whining. That's right, and we're going to see Big Dan later as the a special recently. guest referee of the finals. Yes. Oh, great. Big Dan? Yes, Big Dan. The man who you preached the praises of not six months ago. I don't know. Well, I think Tech comes here. Tech landing on his feet. Tech agile like a cat. Taking those elbows, those bony elbows, into the smaller back of both. Oh, oh, double take a lot. He takes both men down. <laughs> <laughs> Kick out. Oh, what oh, a double drop kick. King Tech is off fast pace. Smash mouth action. And the crowd is loving it right now. We saw King Tech just this past Thursday with an impressive victory over Mitchell Valentine. Oh, we got a little miscommunication out here. Oh, Tech went for a dive. Thought better of it. Chosen prey of this monarch of the ring. Tech is another two count there. Massacre down. Tech in control. Why didn't let me even that technical knockout? He likes, to, he likes to work that arm first here, folks. West on the floor, letting these two go at it. Oh, Mike Quest, once again, ring general, veteran. Knows exactly what to do here. Go for a kryptonite crunch. Oh. I think Quest decided that was a little too close for comfort. Quest almost lost that match without even realizing. Tech going up. King Tech is up on top of the ropes here, folks. Oh, the Quest's gonna stop him. Quest trying to get him down. No, trying to fight him off. Quest got him by the ankle. Quest down. Oh, Massacre back up. Oh, the knee to the head. Shot to the head on Tech. Massacre off. Michael Massacre with. That's gotta be broken in two! Just a two count. Michael Masker almost advancing to the finals there. Absolutely. No one there to stop him. The Royal of the Ring, King Tech, is taking a beating here today. Monica the Mad in trouble here. Oh, uh, trademark John Evans right oh, there. Oh, all right, so... No, I'm kidding. Wait a minute, wait a minute! Oh, my God! Oh. Tornado DDT! Oh, DDT by Tech! The King has got some fight left in him! Masker stalking his prey. Hey, Tech, back up! Massacre that was laying in wait, like a, like every good predator knew exactly when to strike. Huh. Tech down, Massacre in control. Second match and I'm losing my voice. That's just how exciting the United Wrestling Alliance is. As Mike Massacre goes from an elbow drop into a set time. Another two count by Massacre. <laughs> Back for a crossroads trophy. Tech, Massacre King, wants it. Wow, Tech, absolutely. King, Tech, every King, man in this Tech, corner wants yeah, that trophy. Tech, Whether you've Tech, been to the top Tech, of the mountain like Mike Quest, or if you haven't, like Michael Massacre, Michael Massacre advanced to the semifinals last year. You want to talk about a springboard into the uh, into skyrocketing your career. That trophy is the key thing. King Tech also advanced to the finals of the tournament last year. Absolutely, He's, he knows what it takes to get there. He's just got to get that final push and win it all. Do you? you think Kyle Wine is watching this match? Oh, absolutely. I think Kyle Wine is so sure of what's going on in Kyle Wine is a smart competitor and he is checking out the action here. It's his competition. As the night goes on, he has more advantage. Someone who dressed like Kyle Wine? Absolutely. What about someone who's trying to pumping after a recent victory? Oh, you know what? Kyle Wyatt has time to let that beating subside. The winner of this match will also have some time. I got to think Kyle Wyatt's got the most advantage here. Tech and Master King off on Quest. And this may be a good strategy by these two small competitors. Go after Quest. Go after the general, the man with the knowledge, the man with the experience. Take the former Crossroads champion out. All right, well, the former champion down. Both men going up top. I don't like Quest. I don't like what it's looking right now for Quest. Quest, don't turn around! Oh! Triple drop kick! Oh, three men down! Quest is down! Second massacre! The win is there at their fingertips! Mike Quest is hung upside down! Only 
least is he still standing? Quest is, is barely moving. I was very worried about Izzy McGizzy in this. That was sarcasm. Well, these two need to capitalize now. No one's doing anything, Seaway. Tech is about to get it doing right now. Time to break that one up. I did not see the king moving. The finals of the tournament almost slipping away through Quest's fingers right there. You know, Quest wants to be the second multi time winner of this tournament. He also wants to be the first Paramount member to call Absolutely. Can you imagine the sway that the Paramount will have if they win? Oh! the ropes here, maybe Superplex coming. The whole mic's up top. Quest is getting back in this. Quest is fighting it off though. Firing back. Quest is down. Here comes King Tech. Tech scurrying up behind him. The King not out of this yet. He's burying those elbows in the heart of my Quest and the black evil heart of Paragon. Quest, Quest is dazed. And confused. And confused. Sorry, That's all right. Oh, wait a minute. King Tech's up. What's he gonna do? Dragon Rana, maybe? Oh, oh, Dragon Rana right down! Quest landing on top of his head! Quest down! Oh, drop goal! King was ready for Massacre there! Wait a minute. I think I know where this is going. Oh, I think it's time to go swimming! I think Jack has a question for the crowd.
folks, with more crossroads coming at you. More semi final action. The following contest is a semi final match in the crossroads tournament and is scheduled for one fall. One fall! Uh, Submission. If these two men are not careful, he will make bones pop here tonight. He's not the I champion for no reason. Man of the people, right, Evans? Absolutely. Well, I'm, I'm even surprised they took the handshake. You'll get it for both sides now. Absolutely, and you also realize. members in the finals. Yeah, I try to pretend that's not going to happen. Well, if Kyle White is facing those odds, I don't see much hope for him. Absolutely. Undefeated in UWA. Despite the impressive one loss record, Drake Chambers is the long shot. The underdog of this final group by John Jones. Beautiful. But MC Way, Johnny Wiseau, the thing about the underdog, everybody loves the underdog. That's right, I think.
in such a short time as Drake Chambers. Chambers, fuck. Oh, what a. Oh, oh John, John Bose. Bose! What in Chambers' spine first that steel ring Bose? Good yeah. lord. I think uh, Chambers might be uh, temporarily out of action there. Well, absolutely. As the podiatrist of pain, John Bose gets to the ring with Chris Redfield with those big, let's get it, forearms, Redfield. John Bose knocks, big forearm. John Bose knocks, big forearm. Well, the good doctor's ready to pick apart Chris Redfield. John Bose has worked in offense around those forearms. Here are beat up for time. And those big boots, so dangerous, both on the land and in the air with that big top rope leg drop. Woo! I know, Evans, I'm just as excited as you are. Bose, he's got Redfield hooked. What's he set him up for here? Snap suplex there by the doctor. The doctor knows the human body better than anyone in the United Wrestling Alliance. He is an MD here, folks. He knows how to pick you apart. He knows how to hurt you. But so does Chris Redfield. Jump so big, so strong, and so smart when it comes to human anatomy. And when John Bose has his mind set on something, he is never more dangerous. He wanted this tournament so bad last year. It slipped away from him. John Bose wants this badly. Well, he's gonna have a shot tonight. Chambers trying to climb to his feet on the outside. Barely making it there. Front field off the road. Big Bose backbreaker! Big Bose backbreaker! We call that the beat of the fourth power, folks. Bose covers two. Oh, Redfield gets the shoulder up. You, you can't count out Bose. this Redfield. They don't call him the California Crippler for nothing. Well, absolutely. Yeah. He crippled the scout just just one week ago. Yeah. It's about time somebody crippled the scout. Hey, the scout is a nice man. Don't talk Rip that up. Crippled his scout. Yeah. scout back in action to now. <laughs> Big Bose is trying to punch his team into the finals. Oh, nobody on with that boot. Oh, he's the Redfield. He sees the bullseye off the knee of the doctor. Oh. Chambers almost back in it, but Redfield taking him right there. The worst possible thing that could have happened to John Bowen that just happened. Chris, Red Chris Redfield has picked his body part. Well, the obvious body part to utilize. I mean, he's got that reverse that he is reverse figure the four. Master of the, reverse, the master and creator of the reverse figure four, which he refers to as the red lock. Man, the move that has no count. The move that destroyed the scout. Oh, that destruction got him the eye champion, so I guess it was Absolutely. Redfield now, he sees that bull on the knee, and he's gonna bend, and he's gonna twist, and he's gonna torque that knee until he can take John Bose back. Oh, Absolutely. And Paramount member, Mike Quest. You gotta know, Chris Redfield is Mike Quest. I've had some strategy sessions about Dr. John Bowes. Paramount's not stupid, you know they did. The Paramount has squeaked by John Bowes a few too many times now. Bowes is ready to uh, cut that off right here. Redfield set him up. Oh, no, that knee gave out on John Bowes. And that's exactly Bowes is hard. I gotta tell you, I honestly think Chris Redfield had nothing in mind for that. He wanted to test the strength of that knee, and he saw exactly what he wanted there. But there's a third man in this contest, and I see Drake. Chambers in the corner of my screen. Chambers is up, he's picking his spot. He's, I'm not even impressed. Chambers very smart. He's not flying into it like a Mexican jumping bean. Jake Chambers is taking his time. He's picking his move. He's letting these guys take each other out. Redfield got that boot up. Chambers going up. Neither guy knows he's there. Oh, big bows back body drop. I love it. I love it. He is a, setting him up. He is a jerk. He is an unmitigated jerk. He does this because he likes it. He's got him by the leg. He's setting up that knee. Redfield's picking apart the rookie. If he, if he gets that red lock on. Oh, what a oh. shot! There is no counter to the red lock. You can't move towards that the rope. Shot. You can't Anyone turn it over. Chris Redfield has taken the one weakness of the figure four leg lock and nullified it. Very true. With the red lock. The red lock is unstoppable. And we're talking about suspicious. I think Redfield knows that it's going to take a little more punishment before he can put the red lock on Chambers. 
He's almost there. Drake Chambers wincing in pain, laying on the mat. Yeah, I think John Bose is trying to gather his wits back about him. Oh, wait a minute. He's going to the red lock. He's about to hook it. He's got the red lock. He can't last long. Bose better get in there before Chambers tests. Right in the middle. This could be it. It's impossible to get leverage from this move. I can't get Bose needs to get in there. Bose is hurting. Chambers is trying to hold on. Beating on these people. John Bose, though, is ascending on the top rope. What a more. The cavalry is coming, Chambers. Oh, no. Bose oh! breaking it up with that big Bose top rope leg drop. Good Lord. Why did he took everything he had? Absolutely. John Bose sits up. John Bose sits up. What was that, Lysel? What was that? Yeah, he's ready for it. Chambers is ready for it. Say nothing, Wiesel. Chambers ducks that big clothesline. Big clothesline drop kick. And but Chambers took a look at here. Chambers not feeling any more pain. Chambers. Big knee to the jaw. Is it oh. the adrenaline is pumping from that crowd?
my glove that glows.
can crash the Corvus while he has him at home. Nice side for Sparrow Fox on the screen. Fly back in the ring. Pistol, get back in there. What are they setting up here? Looks like they're going to take out Corvus. Corvus in trouble. What are they going to do? Oh, he, he said the A word. He does not like that. He has opened up his eyes and he wants to forget the bat. Please, 
please do not try to bring the glove into this. Cypress giving them a hand. They got hedges up there. That's a lot of mass in that turnbuckle. No, I hope that ring is reinforced. Well, we have actually taken special precautions. They're fighting over who's going to superplex hedges. Hedges just kind of left, hung out to dry. Both men now are up on the ropes. What is Cypher setting him up Cypher for here? Cypher's following him up here. Hedges is gaining his wits back about it. Hedges, I don't even know if Hedges knows. Arca baby feeling froggy here. Corbin is climbing. Slash by Corbin. Wait a minute. Eric Corbin is out.
me to talk here. I think John Rome's going to do much of the talking for me. There we go. Well, you hear the chants of Jesus. That is for the one and only Elder Foreman, the wrestling Mormon. Right into it. 
guys can defeat the number one contender and the UWA Elite Champion tonight in a tag team match, you guys will get a shot at the tag team championships at Crossroads. You know, I like the way that sounds. So you know, that's a, that's a good trade off, I think. Yeah. So you guys better go get ready. Oh, right, we ready. got this. I got a plan, bro. Let's go. Brody's got him, bro. Look at it. Look at all that tornado superlex there. We've seen him hit it before. Sean Damage Nellis is in trouble here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh -oh. Arcadia, Arcadia. No! Uh -oh. No, Arcadia! Uh -oh. Arcadia drop kicks the back of the head of Damage. And Grace Grayson Grayson rolls him up. Ah! He's got the tight uh -oh. And then Grayson. Uh -oh. Here are your winners. Ah! The Amazing yeah! Happy Rollers. Number no, 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 one man boy ah. band, Ben Grayson. The future band, baby! Right here! Yeah. Yeah. You're looking at the best looking kids in UWA today and the best people for the goal. Well, with that win, we will see the contenders. New number one contenders. For the UWA Tag Team title match, in this table room, one more. One more! One more! Two Tag Team Championships on the line here. Hot and Dangerous take it on. What is it, Swag Mean? Swag so mean, Swag so mean. We're going to call it Randy Roller and Ben Grace until we get confirmation. I like it. What a rivalry that is involved in these two teams in the past few weeks. The UWA Dynamic Duo and Hot and Dangerous First, these two young, arrogant upstarts in Roller and Grayson. I don't know what that's about. Roll me! Is it that I'm dangerous or hate? Roll me! Roll me! Oh, the fans are really getting on Grayson.
heavyweight champion. Former UWA elite champion has been racing. Robbie Roller looks like uh, he's calling for a retreat here. Well, they can't win the tag titles if they're not in the ring. I think Hot Dick's going to win here. Hot Dick's going to win the game for him. Set him right to our front row fans there. See, folks, with front row in this show, you know you ain't elite show, you get to take on the flag street boy. Face the boot. Dynamite is 
back down. Man, this thing I know that Jack does a lot of what I've heard to me.
the heavyweight champion, but there is a great possibility that the, that is going to happen, and you need to face that. Challenger, folks. The biggest challenge of Sean Damage McNellis' life awaits him here today. You said it all right there. School versus new school, folks. We got a rather intense handshake going on here. I'm sure it is. We got the legend, the living legend, Arcade, the man who's done it all. Yes, he has. Crossroads champion, UWA champion, against our champion, Sean Davis McNally. The first ever and only two time UWA elite champion goes to a headlock here. Sean yeah. entertaining us week after week. So the Sean McNally's wrenching that headlock in. Arcadia back him in the ropes. Oh, big tackle. McNellis goes back to a side headlock. Technical start out here. I like it. McNellis here has got a vice-like grip on the side of that head of Arcadia. This is the match that every UWA has wanted for a month. As soon as Arcadia is back and he wanted it, Damage said bring it. Here it is. Sean Damage McNellis. You gotta know. The question's been haunting him. Does he have what it takes to be Arcadia? Both these men do each other so well. Counter after counter. Arcadia bounces the champion down with his tickets there. I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. I do not have a favorite to win this match. It's that important. I don't know who to pick. Honestly, my heart says McNellis. My head says Arcadia. Just look at the man's accomplishments. Uh, you know what? I'm actually forced to agree with you. I don't mind 
there's somebody close to you that this match is that important. Sean Damage, he has been the heart and soul of UWA League for so long. And thus he is the emotional choice here. But can he overcome the savvy ring better in Arcadia? He has turned back challenger after challenger. That's right. Defeating Ben Grayson, Dr. John Bowes, Hedges. Just throwing challenge. Setting the standard, didn't even know who his challenger was. Absolutely. He still came out on top. He rose above that challenge. Ultimate turmoil. Eight challengers. Rose still came ball. out. Still came out. Defeating Chris Redfield and Brian Russ Paramount. Arcadia winding that arm. Miguel shoots Arcadia off. Arcadia with a big shoulder tackle runs over Miguel. Right now, Miguel has got to be wondering what have I gotten myself into here? Arcadia's putting on a clinic. And Arcadia's making a mistake. He let him get up. Well, it's sportsmanship. They, it they don't sportsmanship win. doesn't win titles. They don't want to hammer each other into the ground here. And it's why not? Friends. They've been friends for as long as I've known them. That's a long time. Well, unfortunately, friends can't hold the sports title together. Sleeping that leg. Arcadia got right out of that one. Both men staring each other down again. McNellis got the better of Arcadia on that exchange. Arcadia now, maybe a little more tentative, maybe a little more, uh, a, a little more uh, hesitant to get involved with McNellis here. Dan is taking offense to those chops, shoving Arcadia. Gotta watch out for those big chopsticks from Arcadia. He pulls them out of nowhere. McNellis showing his desire to turn as he's getting up. He doesn't know when to stay down. McNellis went to the knees there. Got a shot in Arcadia's face. Fighting assault. Fighting Irishman, Sean Damage McNellis. He knows what he's doing, and he's taking it to Arcadia. The green and black attack is looking to make a statement here. He's looking to show that he can hang with the legends of the United Wrestling Alliance, that being Arcadia. We don't do a lot once you've got a couple tricks in you. Big Manhattan drop there, Arcadia. Slamming the head down into the knee, big forearm shot. Into the ropes, Arcadia wins. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Close line with the leg. That was that was that was that was neat. Arcadia waiting, laying in wait here for McDellis. Oh, Miguel stripped him up. Oh, oh I slammed by damage. Snap ball by slam. Arcadia over that cross body. You don't cross body damage. I like that, that tenacity. That uh oh. Uh oh. The champion has been known to fly here, folks. The champion's bearing up. Launching it. Oh, oh they crashed to the ground. They get out, Arcadia. Both men down. You know you really ain't title. There can only be one champion. Have you ever seen two men more evenly matched? Both men crowd favorites. Crowd split in half here. Kick out. Sean McNellis, two count only. Picking Arcadia up off the mat. We've been talking about it for weeks. Goes that Falcon arrow, he calls it the inferior. Oh no! Stalling him there! Absolutely, you know, when you look at Arcadia, you look at the career that this man has had, facing legends in this business, becoming a legend of One has to wonder, what does it take to put down such a man? And it's funny up here. Many wonder if our champion has it in him. I think he does. What an elbow there by Damage. Beautiful elbow. Damage yeah. covered. Kick out there by Arcadia. Oh, one thing is for sure, Seaway, and you too, Wiseau, this is going to be a close one. This one's going to come within a hair's breadth. This one, the, the winner is going to just squeak by. I know it. It's, one of these men is not going to dominate the other. Both these men are so good, so courageous. <laughs> they face so many challenges. Wait a minute. Oh, Arcadia! That's a little thing about Arcadia. Yeah. He is so good! He's, he's such a naturally gifted athlete! The best I've ever seen in my life! Many men call him the best pure athlete in the UWA League. And it all comes natural. Arcadia is a born natural. Sean McNellis scraped and clawed his way up to be where he is now. 
Arcadia is just gifted in wrestling. <laughs> Arcadia is focused, and I have not seen him this focused in years. Now, Arcadia wants that title. He wants to prove that he's the best. He's That's been, all he's been wanting for months now. He's been to the top of battle before. He has done it all the United Wrestling Rides. Every accolade there is to accomplish, Arcadia has accomplished. He wants another shot, though. He wants another run at the top to prove that he can still hang with the youngins like Sean Damage. Oh, Damage, One. Arcadia getting to the rope there. Well, that's that ring better and that awareness. Knowing where he is at all times. Arcadia also is very long limbs. He's able to reach those ropes. Very lanky guy. These two guys are so good. They both want to move. Spot on the pine there. Damage cover. Two. Who's coming here to take that title? Wow, Damage absolutely. wants to prove them all wrong. Honestly, the odds are against Damage from what everyone's been saying. And he's a champion! is great. One of the best in the history of the United Wrestling Alliance. Arcadia is in a league of his own. Sean Damage over has proved he is good enough to be our champion. There is the upper echelon of the United Wrestling Alliance and just above that is that man, Arcadia. Say that champion. again. Champion walking in here with everything to prove. A rarity, but he's here to prove it. He says he will prove it. Something else reversing Arcadia underneath. Go to the John McNellis looks like he is a beaten, broken, exhausted man right now. We've already seen new tag team champions. Will we see a new heavyweight champion crown? These two, these two men are telling you a story with their bodies here, folks. This is a battle for the ages. Arcadia, Sean McNellis. Unbelievable. There can only be one man. Oh no! Missile drop! Don't do it. You would have to think. Damage was no, there was no one there. Someone's 
taken out of him. Arcadia's fired up. He's, he's ready for the Emmys. He's, he's calling right. for it. And he knows McNellis is out. And this just got interesting. The champ is in trouble. The champ is in trouble. And he was giving everything he had, and that's that, that's exactly what we are seeing. Just when you think Sean McNellis' stand is on empty, he revs it up again! <laughs> My lord. Now, I stand in front of both these men. I spoke to both of them about this I talked to our kids, and the entire time, there was never one look of doubt in his eye. That is exactly what I'm seeing right now. There's no way damage survives the second one. Oh, damage no. out! Damage the ropes! There is still life in the gym! Sean McNeil's still alive! Sean and Jack! Sean and Jack! Cover it, Sean! Covers! Covers! Damn it!
not in this situation. We need a referee, Evan.
entrances because I wanted to let the reactions speak for themselves. All four of these men held to a different regard by this crowd. Whether they love him like Kyle Wynan, whether they're hopeful for him like Chambers, whether they're interested to see what he'll do like Corbis, or whether they loathe him like Quest. Big Dan ringing the bell. They all went after Quest, no surprise there. Wiley Ring veterans. Wiley Ring veterans, strong men, talented men. When Mike 
Quest won the Crossroads Tournament in 2005, he defeated Eric Corvus in the finals. Move by Corvus there. Very nice. Chamber just ate the of Corvus.
so close to winning that Mercedes Trophy. Real Mike Quest to become a two-time winner.
Starting at the crossroads!